What is going on, New York Giant fans? Welcome back to another Roster Bubble Series video. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate you all coming back. Another Roster Bubble video for you guys today. Doing one of these till the middle of training camp on players that are on the cusp of being cut. And if you haven't already, as I said, subscribe. And also buy some of our merch as well. Not just the Fire Boon, Fire Cashman stuff, but we have some exclusive stuff as well. And if we haven't already hit the 1.4K mark, share this out to your friends, family, your dog, your cat, your hamster. Uh, we're trying to reach a 1.4K mark so we could grow this a little bit more and do a couple other different things too. So we appreciate your guys' support always. Um, another roster bubble video here, 5 to 10 minutes long. What I do is I take a player that's on the cusp of being cut. I talk about their background, their competition, how they could win a spot on the roster, how they could lose a spot on the roster, and at the end, a prediction. So today, it is Jaden Mickens that we are profiling. Mickens, 29 years old, undrafted free agent out of Washington in 2016, 5'10", 174 pounds, was with the Raiders when he came out until 2017, he didn't get any playing time. He was just on the practice squad, was cut, signed by Jacksonville. Then after a few seasons there, 2017, 2018, after those seasons, he signed with the Panthers and was waived during final roster cuts. Then signed with Tampa Bay and stuck onto them until about 2021. Uh, actually won a Super Bowl ring with them as a part of that Super Bowl 2020 team. And then the Jaguars. As far as that goes, he signed with them again, signed with the practice squad, and got a little bit of playing time. And then with the Giants, he signed with them December 14th, 2022, did not get any playing time, was signed to a future slash reserve contract. This guy's mainly a special teamer. Kick and punt returns are his specialty. But to go over any offensive stats, because he is a wide receiver, six receptions, 77 yards, two touchdowns in 10 games in his rookie year, nothing in his second year. In his fourth year in the league, nothing offensively in 2019, but in 2020, seven receptions, 58 yards, 10 games, and once again, a Super Bowl ring. And then in 2021, two, two receptions, 10 yards for Jacksonville in six games. Played with Tampa a little bit, but other than that, um, not much at all in terms of offense. So snap percentage-wise, before we get to special teams, his rookie year, he played 14% of the snaps offensively in 10 games 52 percent on special teams uh three snaps on offense total in 2018 90 snaps on special teams which counted for 54 percent in six games then in 2019 26 uh percent actually no 26 snaps on offense in one game for Jaden mickens didn't get anything offensively there though uh 12 snaps on special teams 2020 75 total snaps 11 percent on offense for 10 games and then also 44 percent on special teams 126 snaps and then 2021 with the bucks 19 snaps on offense which was five percent in a total of five games then uh six snaps on offense with the jaguars two percent of the offensive snaps in six games then um also go to special teams 69 snaps on special teams for Jaden mickens 48 percent, and then 37 percent, which was 55 snaps in the six games for jacksonville so let's quickly switch over to the return category for 2021 we'll go off recency before we go backwards um eight returns and this is punt returns to start eight punt returns for 54 yards with jacks uh, excuse me tampa bay jacksonville six punt returns for 82 yards that's in 2021 and then kick returns let's go to that real quick five kick returns for 129 yards which is about 25.8 yards per return which isn't bad uh that was with tampa bay and then with jacksonville eight returns for 173 yards 21.6 yards per turn, which is about okay. It's not terrible, but it's you want to get that up. Uh, 2020, 16 returns in terms of punt returns for 99 yards, 6.2 yards per return. And then uh, in the kick return game, 14 returns for 340 yards, 24.3 yards per return. And also as well, to go back to 2018, 12 returns, 59 yards, no touchdowns. Total of 4.9 yards per return. That's in the punt return game, kick return game, six returns, 149 yards, and uh, 24.8 yards per return. And then he had one kick return for a touchdown in Jacksonville, but he had 27 total returns, 287 yards, 
uh, 10.6 yards per return. His longest was 72 yards. That was punt returns and then kick returns, two returns for 20 yards, uh, 10 yards per return. So he's got a lot of experience in terms of the kick return game, which the Giants can very much use. Um, there's a lot of guys competing. Khalil Pimpleton, Gary Brightwell, um, Adoree Jackson's not competing. Uh, let's see what others they got. They got Donnie Holmes competing as well. Jalen Hyatt, Jashawn Corbin. So there's multiple guys trying out for kick and punt return. This guy can do both. But the problem is how much of a threat he is in terms of keeping him as a receiver. Um, obviously, the Giants could use Jalen High as a kick returner and obviously use him in offense. Same thing with Eric Gray. Uh, they could also keep Darnay Holmes for return purposes if that's good enough for them. Maybe they keep Gary Brightwell. But once again, Jaden Mickens is not much of a threat on offense. And would you really want to rely on him if a Sterling Shepard or an Isaiah Hodgins goes down? I don't know that you would want to because you would have to really scheme up the offense really well. But his competition looks like this. Khalil Pimpleton who we just talked about, punt return guy, special teams guy, uh, was an undrafted free agent last year at Central Michigan. Jeff Smith, former Jet, mainly a gunner. David Sills, who really doesn't have any special teams capabilities, but he's an offensive player, mainly a wide receiver. Uh, Colin Johnson, wide receiver, but also special teams capabilities too. Bryce Ford Wheaton, undrafted free agent out of West Virginia. And Cole Beasley, who was also trying to get on the roster, hasn't had a punt returner in punt return in years but um he's working to get in as a slot receiver so how can he win meaning mr Jaden mickens i would say excel in the return game he is part of that group right now i've been to a couple of practices he's in that return group so excel in the return game kick and punt wise um the giants could use some explosiveness Jaden mickens has shown that in his career obviously he didn't play last year was on the giants practice squad but try to get some of that back um, they could definitely use it over a guy like Brightwell. You know, if you do, I think Brightwell had average like 21 or 23 yards per return. If you could up that a little bit, I think that would be good. Um, also as well, before we get to some of the other simpleton answers, if you're a gunner on special teams, that helps. Uh, the Giants need some gunners. Jeff Smith is obviously competing for that role and kick coverage too, blocking and just getting to the uh, kick returner as well on both sides of the football. Uh, the Giants need special teams players so badly it's not even funny uh stay healthy and get open and make catches as a possession receiver i don't think he he doesn't really come to me as a speedy receiver like guy who's going to get separation uh khalil pimpleton's that more of that guy i would say mickens because he, he can play mostly the outside some slot he, i think he's just a possession receiver you know guy who will make catches when he needs to and i think that's what he needs to do you know when you're asked on offense he hasn't done anything exciting in camp. I mean, he's been catching passes from Tommy DeVito. But uh, with that being said, just make catches as a possession receiver, especially when you're not going you know, up against your defense. You're going up against maybe the Lions defense, the Jets defense, the Panthers defense. It's really important, especially in terms of making a roster spot. Um, how can he lose? Overshadowed on special teams as a, man, as a return man or a gunner. Uh, that would be, once again, the worst thing for him because he is mainly a special teams guy. Not much talent as a receiver, but if he gets in via special teams, great. If not, I mean, it would be a loss for him. It might be a loss for the Giants, depending on who they find or can't find. But um, it would be a huge loss for Jaden Mickens. And that's basically what's kept him on rosters. It's not receiver talent. It's the fact that he can play special teams. Doesn't offer anything as a possession receiver. Uh, he really doesn't offer that right now, but... If he's a guy like Colin Johnson and just breaks out randomly or he has a really good game like Alex Bachman last year, maybe he uh, factors in and maybe he does make the roster somehow or he impresses the coaching staff. But um, I, I'm really more on that side that he doesn't offer anything as a possession receiver because the Giants already have those guys and they want speedier guys too. How can you win, excel in return game, stay healthy, get open, and make catches as a possession receiver? How can you lose, overshadowed on special teams as a return man, slash gunner, doesn't offer anything as a possession receiver? I see Jaden Mickens getting cut. I think the Giants probably will find their returner or uh, special teams guy elsewhere. I mean, there's going to be multiple special teams guys kept, Carter Coughlin, Cam Brown, some of these other cats. But I don't think Jaden Mickens is going to make the roster because I feel like they want a little bit more speed. Pimbleton might be the guy I did have him not making the roster, but Pimbleton may have a little bit of uh, leverage over a guy like Mickens because he can punt return. He could also play the slot, and he's speedy as hell too. Mickens I can't say the same for, but uh, I have him getting cut. I could be wrong, 
Like, comment, subscribe to all the good stuff. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate you all coming back. See you guys later. Let's go Big Blue.